uh, theatres. Is, is, it, is it fun being back in the West End for a period of time? I must say it is an extraordinary pleasure to, to work in the West End Theatre. There's something about it, you know, I've been at it for a long time, and there's something sort of thrilling about going to St Martin's Lane where everybody is going to the theatre and that time in the evening, you know, when the lights are just coming on and, and there's a sort of buzz in the air, which is exciting, very. You made a lot of movies when you are in Hollywood, some, I mean, well over 40. Do you regard some of those as being absolutely forgettable? Most, most of those. I have, uh, I mean, you know, it's awfully difficult to make, very, to make a very good film, and uh, hardly any of them are very good. In fact, if you were to take a sort of representative hundred films of any year, you'd probably find that about five of them, maybe, you would think, ten years on, well, that wasn't a bad film. So they're wallpaper, quite a lot of them. What do you think is the worst one you made? Just the worst film in context, really? The worst? <laughs> that would be... I did not want to get other people into trouble, but um, I suppose <laughs> I made a, an absolutely dreadful film in Hungary once, in Hungary and Italy, in which I played Lord Nelson and uh, a French actress played uh, Emma, and it's called... Um, Emma and Nelson or something like that. It was absolutely absurd. It was so... It, people used to, actually had got a kind of name in its time for being frightfully funny. <laughs> it, was so, it was so bad, it was funny. So that, I think that's really one of the worst. But I've been in, uh, in quite a lot of bad films, actually. <laughs> and, and a few good ones. I mean, I, there was a film of mine played over Christmas called uh, The Haunting, uh, which still plays, and there's an almost traditional kind of a film that I'm in plays at Christmas called Khartoum. It wasn't on this year, but most years it's on. And uh, several of those uh, biggish films that I was in in the 60s <clears throat> uh, still play around the world. It, strange to see oneself in them, I must say. Is it? What, mm. looking back on that period of time? Yes, that you're sort of stuck in like a fly in amber, or you know, at a certain period of your life and of your looks and so on, you know, and you think, was that really, did I really look like that? So, you know, yes, Did you make uh, the most of your time in Hollywood, though? Because I think we, we all... Um... I did when I went to Hollywood. I did a, a test with Gary Cooper, who'd, you know, been my boyhood hero for, well, oh, one of them, and I met Spencer Tracy and uh, all these great stars of that period, and I actually made a film with them. Um, with Frank Sinatra and Gina Lana Brigida and Steve McQueen and Charlie Bronson all in it together. Good cast. And uh, we, had, uh, we had just a wonderful time. And things were easier in those days, and particularly with Sinatra, who was the sort of king of Hollywood, king of America, really. Still is, uh, pretty well, I suppose. You know, There's still a great intrigue about him, isn't there? Absolutely. He, he could do anything he liked, really. And if, and if he said, well, we'll start work tomorrow at midday, I don't feel like coming in too early, well, then we'll start work at midday, you know. <laughs> 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 the argument about it. And those, uh, but those sort of things don't happen too often nowadays, and especially, regrettably, in, in British films. Uh, hardly any of them, anyway. Well, Richard, I'm delighted everything's going so well for you at the moment. Enjoy your period of time in the Rivals, and thank you very much indeed for joining us on Pebble Mill. Thank, thank you. you very much. Richard Johnson.